There are often situations when you're trying to route a job where you find you're limited either by the size of the material that you're using or by the size of your router. For instance, in this case, we're trying to mill a sign out of a piece of material that's 2400 millimetres long by 1200 millimetres high. If my router is limited to a 1200 by 1200 base, or maybe that's the size of the material I can get, then I will not be able to cut this out of a single toolpath. I'm either going to have to do multiple setups in separate pieces of material, or set the material up, cut half of it, and then pull it through to cut the other half. It is possible for me to divide the artwork up and assign the toolpath separately, but that makes it more tricky to make sure I use all the right tooling and parameters, and quite frankly is going to be quite time consuming. A nice tool that was added to ArtCam Insignia in the v most recent release is the panelling tool. If I click on this panelling tool, what it allows me to do is specify a panel of material or the panel that's the size of my router and it will divide the job up for me. You can see here I've got two panels specified based on the size that I've got. If we look in the 3D view, I can display just the part that I'm going to be cutting. So we're going to cut that half first, then either move the material through or put a separate piece of material up and cut the second half as you can see there. It really is easy and a nice way to divide the job up. You can see I can specify even smaller sizes if I want. For instance, we may only have part that are 600 high, in which case I'm going to be cutting it into quarters. And we can display that either as they're going to be cut or in the finished job in comparison to where the initial parts are as well. One more way that makes this very easy to use is I can even use the guidelines that are provided in ArtCam. So if I want to specify a lot of panels, it's as simple as me just dragging as many as I want. I can specify these very accurately, or I can do a lot less, or we can go back to our originals, and I can just drag around the ones I've got as well if I want. So if I want to make sure that I'm not dividing it through any letters, then I'll be able to use that panel and drag that over, and then maybe drag another panel to cut the end of this to make sure I keep it within the sizes that I wanted to use. Again, we could view those in the 3D view. Then it would be a simple case of saving the toolpaths and outputting them to our machine as we normally do.